Greetings of the day, dear students. I hope you are all taking good care of yourself. Let us begin today's lesson with a short prayer. I request you to close your eyes and join your hands. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you today asking for your guidance, love and support. Fill us with your grace, Lord, as we begin today's day. Thank you for ways in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to learn from one another. This we ask in your name, O Lord. Amen. So my dear students, today I'm going to teach you ordinal numbers from 1 to 10. Let us start with a simple question. Now sometimes instead of taking the names of the students, how does a teacher denote the students sitting in the classroom? Guess the answer. Yes, you are right. The teacher denote as first child, third child, or the last girl, last boy, and so on. Let us now understand what are ordinal numbers. The ordinal numbers show the position of an object, such as first, second, third, and so on. So just now we saw a classroom where students were sitting in an order and the teacher denoted them as first, second, third, and so on. This is called ordinal numbers. I hope it is clear to you. So now let us look at some more examples where ordinal numbers are used. Okay, so can you see these happy faces? We use ordinal numbers to denote the position in the competition, such as now this child has got the first position and he's very happy. This child has got the second position, he's also happy. And the last third position he has got, he's also very happy. Let us look at some more example. Days of the week. To denote the position of days of the week, we use ordinal numbers such as Sunday is the first day of the week, Monday, second day of the week, Tuesday, third, Wednesday, fourth, Thursday, fifth, Friday, sixth, Saturday, seventh. Now let us go to the next slide. Now here, students are standing in an order to go inside their school bus. This is the first child, second child, third child, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth and ninth child. Now in this slide, the elephant is climbing the stairs so we can say that this is the first step, this is the second step, third step, fourth step, fifth step, sixth step, seventh step, eighth step, ninth and tenth step. So the elephant has to climb 10 steps to reach on the top. Now let us look at a video to understand the topic more clearly. There are 10 animals and they have organized a race today. So all are standing at the start position. And the race begins. The horse and the dog are running very fast and they 
complete the race. The horse is at the first position. The dog is at the second position. Now camel and elephant also joins them and they are running quite fast. The cam camel got the third position and elephant got the fourth position. Now bear is also joining them and he got fifth position. Cow also joins them. It got sixth position. The rabbit and the sheep also joins and sheep and Sheep is looking very tired. The sheep got the seventh position and rabbit got the eighth position. The tortoise and the pig also joins them and they are very, very tired and very slow. The tortoise got the ninth position and pig got the tenth position and the race ends. Now let us look at their winning positions. The horse got the first position. Dog got the second position. Camel got the third position. Elephant, fourth position. Bear, fifth position. Cow, sixth position. Sheep, seventh position. Rabbit, eighth position. Tortoise, ninth position and the pig got the tenth position. So we use ordinal numbers to denote the positions in a race. I hope it was very clear to you. Let us now look at the list of ordinal numbers from 1 to 10. This is how we denote first second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth and tenth. So you have to learn these uh, spellings and also know how to denote these numbers from 1 to 10. Let us now practice one question. Match the cartoon characters with their position. Let us see who is at which position. So are you ready? Let us begin. First position. Second position. Third position. Fourth position. Fifth position. Sixth position, seventh position, eighth position, ninth position, and finally the tenth position. So, with this, we come to the end of the lesson. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Now, I will be uploading a worksheet dated 24th April on the parent portal. Kindly complete it in your notebook. We will meet next time with a new topic. Stay safe. Thank you for joining.